Good morning, everyone. Today is Saturday, January 16th, 2021, week number 111. 111. I got my job back. Oh, yeah, that's right. The morning <laughs> job. Well, hopefully everybody's checking in with us and doing well this week. Um, I know there's a lot of new people to keto that are just starting out with a New Year resolution. I've gotten a couple emails and tried to help them with the, the steps that we took when we first started keto and uh, introduced them to a few of the websites and the things that we do, yeah. which I can relist. There's a playlist in our actual channel mm -hmm. that we call Keto 101, which are some of the things that we started with too. So if you are new here, check that out because uh, they were definitely helpful for us. Definitely. Very helpful. Yep. Diet Doctor and a couple of Dr. Berg and Dr. Fung is my guy, but you know, <laughs> a lot of good videos in there, a lot of good info, and you can watch the playlist in order and just see some of those things that we found helpful when we started. Absolutely. Plus the other channels that also are very inspiring. Oh um, gosh, yeah. Gosh, there's tons of them. And it's just a whole great keto community that's very inspirational. And helpful too. And very helpful. Yeah, I always try my best to help people out. I mean, heck, I don't know everything. I'm still trying to figure out my own body. But, you know, the things that we've done have worked for us and gotten us where we're at now. I'm very happy with that and happy with our progress in that respect. Yeah. Uh, it might not be as high as some other people's progress is, but hey, you know what? I know there's also people that start it and stop and don't get anything out of it. So I'm very happy with where I'm at. Yeah, it's our journey, um, good and bad, and we've had... A few ups and mostly downs and you know life has been <laughs> and that's kind good. of backwards because you want the downs <laughs> <laughs> in this case you want the downs absolutely yeah. well hey let's get into our weights real quick because i know some people don't have time to talk um 333 last week for me 333.8 this week so i'm up 0.8 uh, i've had a lot of stomach issues and a lot of things going on i've had a few gastrointestinal doctor appointments that were canceled uh, due to all the craziness of the world and um, I still need to get back in there. I have done all kinds of medical treatments. I've done all kinds of natural over-the-counter treatments. I'm not going to the washroom. So I'm having troubles. And uh, I'm still working on it. <laughs> still working on it. So it it's been days and I'm not feeling very good at the moment. So, uh, but I'm keeping moving, keeping active, doing my carb manager, keeping up with my keto, trying to stay positive with it all, you know, uh, it is what it is. And uh, I told you guys I would report that every Saturday where I was at, good, bad, or otherwise. So that's where I'm at this Saturday. It's there are good life. weeks and bad weeks, and this is maybe not a good week. Absolutely. No, it's actually a really good week. I've gotten a lot done, so I'm very happy. To-do list is going good, feeling good, yeah. doing good. So last week I weighed in at 138, and this morning I weighed in at 137.8. Six. <laughs> so you're down. Four. So point four, four down. Four. Um, so not so bad, you know, not where I want to be. I'll get down a little bit more, but it, it's good. Changes have been made. Um, had something really cute happen to me the other day at work, and uh, I was chatting with one of the gals over in the hearing aid department, and she was so excited. She says, Stacy, I was helping a member, and she was getting a QR code, and she pulled up a YouTube that was that was on her phone and there was this girl that looked just like you making a mask. She says down to the silver streak and everything. She goes, I was so excited to tell you, you have to go look it up. And I said, that was me. <laughs> and she's yeah. like, Oh my gosh. <laughs> so that was super cute that one of our members probably has no idea that I work there. Um, was looking at the mask video, um, to help with the hearing aids, you know, we never thought we'd be wearing them as long as we have been. And uh, so I wear them every day. I have masks to match every outfit. Today I'll be wearing Olaf. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you haven't seen that video, I'll link it above. It's a, a little video where we pulled out an old sewing machine that we had from my daughter. It was actually given to my daughter from my grandma, uh, from, from grandma, mom, yeah. which is my mom. And uh, never got used. She was going to make costumes and she didn't. Yeah. So we decided to pull it out and try and make a mask on our own. We had no idea what we were doing. And we found some templates and got some ideas. And she was having trouble because of her hearing aid plus her glasses. Yeah. So she was trying to find a solution to get past that. And we made a couple masks. And gosh, I, I think you got a good dozen of them up there. And the nice part is that way she can bring it home, 
throw it in the washer, grab a new one for tomorrow. So yeah. we're always staying fresh. And I, I'm very happy that you're doing yeah. that. Yeah, and, and they're and they're comfortable. Um, I don't have to worry about losing my hearing aids. Uh, so that's, and that was the big reason why, because when you wear the ones, not only there's so much going on behind the ears, but when you take it off, I've almost lost my hearing aid a handful of times when I've not had the mask. Oh, pull it. Yeah, when you go to pull it off, it pulls that hearing aid off. And there have been so many, talking with the hearing aid department, there have been so many lost and damaged reports that have been made because people are just pulling the mask off and losing their hearing aids and they're expensive. Um, so that was kind of funny. And then I had another little funny this morning. I work <laughs> for the reservation agent for the state parks. And it's rush season, so uh, people are hurt, trying to hurry up and get reservations. And I took a call from an older gentleman this morning looking to do a reservation. He says, well, I tried. And I said, well, sir, did you refresh your page? He says, I don't know what you're talking about. I said, well, you have to refresh your page. Our website uses cookies. He says, I wasn't eating any damn cookies. <laughs> Sound like his wife, right? Stop eating those damn cookies. <laughs> it's just like... Okay, so your best bet is to just give us a call again tomorrow morning. I didn't even know where to go with, yeah, I wasn't eating any damn cookies. <laughs> Bill says, did you, did you explain to him? I said it wasn't even worth it. I said it was too long of a conversation to get into, so his best bet was just to call us back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I told her to reference it as almost like a bookmark. Think of your, your website and you've bookmarked it in a sense. And then you've come back to it and you need to refresh that bookmark and the new page. Yeah. That's the way I was trying to explain to her, to explain to them. Because the cookie thing obviously didn't sink in. It, it did not sink in. And, and again, I think it was just too in-depth of a conversation to have with him. Because he was mad because he didn't get his sight. But uh, I don't know. I just found that funny when I was telling Bill. I got a good chuckle out of him this morning. Yeah. <laughs> well, we've had a pretty good week with keto, too. Um, obviously, staying on our keto program, but we made some chili. Oh, my gosh. Really, really good chili. For him. Yeah, and I had a bowl of that yesterday. It was wonderful. And then uh, Stacy was out there the other night going crazy making dough. Yes. Uh, made a bunch of fathead dough crusts. So we have some that were pre-made with the cheese and everything, but we ran out of cheese. And then we just made the, the crust. And a lot of times, Stacy just likes the crust with a little cheese, no sauce or anything like a bread. I but like it with some garlic butter. Yep. So I'll do minced garlic and butter, put that on there, and then cheese and just bake it that way. You make it um, like a cheese bread. Yeah, like a cheese bread. So, yeah. so now we have some extra um, crusts in the freezer. And we have a few of the pizzas that are pre-made and ready to go in for like a 15-minute cook it. Because we, we make the crust, then we top it. Then we wrap it in foil. Then we cook it for like 45, uh, 450 for 15 minutes or something like yeah. that, right? Yeah. So it's almost like pulling out a tombstone pizza or a Red, Red Baron. Yeah. But we're making a fathead. So, yeah, I'm very excited about the foods from this week. Yeah. We did really well. And, uh, yeah. I've learned one of my new favorites at the grocery store. We eat a lot of salads. They're quick and simple. Um, they have, Bill was making fun of me the first time I ate it. It's a chopped salad and just very finely chopped up he's like are you eating your bird salad again the, the bird food <laughs> <Baby. thing. laughs> open up birdie come on drop it in <laughs> and he was up. making fun of me and so was our daughter and they wanted a salad and all i had left was my chopped salad because they had eaten the salad the that i bought for them and they're both like, I really like this salad. It's much easier to eat. It is easier to eat. It really is. Um, no fork. <laughs> it's silly, but I, I enjoy it. It makes it easy for me. And now I've got those two on it. Then, of course, I go to the store to buy more and I can't find any. Of course. Story of my life. <laughs> Jimmy Dean's makes this little um, breakfast bowl. It's in a round bowl. And it's got two eggs in a little container that you shake and then you pour into this little thing. And you put that in the microwave. And I thought that was the grossest thing ever. You put it in the microwave for a minute, a minute, a minute, 15 seconds, seconds, something like that. Then you get it out and you stir that up. And then there's a little packet. And depending on which one you buy, for me, it was meat lovers. It had cheese and bacon bits or something in it. So I dump that in. Then you cook it for like another minute. And then you take it out and you stir it up and you put a little salt and pepper in it. Oh my gosh, they're so good. And if you look at the label, they're really 
good for our keto. I mean, they, they fit right into my macros. There's no sugars. There's no carbs or anything really. I mean, it's negligible. It, it's just like making two eggs in the morning fast and easy. And um, I, I kind of got hooked on those. They were on sale, so Stacy bought like a good stack of them. And uh, yeah. So then he did no an experiment. Pan, no pan or anything to make a mess. And then he huh? scram scrambled up two eggs. Of our regular. Of our egg. regular, you know, the organic eggs. And put those in the in microwave in a bowl to see if it would do the same thing. And he's like, Stacy, I made my own. <laughs> I'm 53 years old. I just turned 53. I have never heard of, seen of, or tried an egg in the microwave. And I thought it was the grossest thing in the world. And they're good. And I like it. And I don't even understand why. So I was kind of making my own breakfast bowl after I ate the few that I had. I, I'd do a couple eggs. i throw it in the microwave in a bowl, cook that. Then I would put some bacon bits mm -hmm. into that and a little salt and pepper. I even took some sugar-free maple oh, syrup. Yeah, yeah, a little cheddar cheese too. And then I even took some maple syrup that we had some sugar-free maple syrup for when I would do keto pancakes or something. Rarely ever use it. But I put a dab of that in there and mixed it up. Oh my gosh, it was such a good breakfast. And it took like three minutes to make. I was so excited. <laughs> I, I know that sounds really silly because there's really not much of a recipe to it. You just, <laughs> and, and if somebody, if I watched that on a video, I'd probably say, that's gross. But I like it. It tastes good. It's fine. The eggs came out fluffy and cooked and I don't know. Our daughter even tried it. Yep. And she liked it quite a bit. She was like, Dad, that's really good. I'm like, I guess I can't make eggs because this is good, but you don't like when I make eggs. So, and no pan, no mess. Right. You know, just put the bowl just in the bowl. sink. I like it. It's too funny. Yeah. Well, I'm glad it worked. Maybe I'll share a video of me making my weird microwave egg breakfast thing. <laughs> I don't know. Let us know in the comments if you want to see it. But pretty straightforward. Mix a couple eggs up, put it in for a minute. Mix them up again. Throw some other junk in it. Another minute. <laughs> And it was done. And then I just added salt and pepper and a little bit of maple syrup. Sugar-free maple syrup. But He's so cute. He yeah. was truly this excited when he made it the I first was. time. <laughs> it sounds so silly, but it's just like a different way to have breakfast in a very fast way instead of having to warm the pan up and do all the stuff. I didn't even use any butter in it because I didn't need to. But, yeah. you know, I guess sometimes the butter is good for Your the fats. fats on the macros. I have switched up my carb manager a little bit. Um, about... I'd say it's about three weeks ago now, I upped my carb manager. Um, my deficit was at 45% and I felt like I was starving my body. So I upped yeah. it to 25% and that gave me a little more calories and a little higher on the macros. Uh, then I adjusted the macros last week to see if it would make a difference and it really didn't. <laughs> I switched it from high protein keto to just regular keto macros, which yeah. increased the fats and lowered the proteins. I just... I'm tinkering. I'm trying to see what my body's going to react to and how it's going to react. Yeah. I don't know necessarily that it's so much the food that I'm eating or the macros that I'm eating it in. I think a lot for me is my stomach. My stomach's not... I mean, Stacy the other day, she's like, oh my gosh, look at how hard and very high and very hard my whole upper abdomen yeah. is. And um, I have these special pills that I hate taking. It's called Linzess. And uh, Gastro's gave those to me a while yeah. ago. I still have the full bottle because it just devastates me. I think it was Tuesday or Wednesday I took one. And I did spend six hours in the bathroom. And I went from 338 down to 333. So yeah. I had four or five pounds of things in me. But I don't want to have to take that pill every day. Yeah. You know? And that, yeah, that was funny. Tuesday or Wednesday. And it's Saturday now. And I haven't been in there since. So, you know. No. I don't know. I'm still working on it. I got to go see some doctors. But I got to get through all the weirdness of the world and feel more comfortable. And they keep canceling on me. Yeah. And yeah. Now the everything they want to do is virtual. Right. Which some things you can do virtual and I think some things First one they canceled. Second one they said, let's do it virtual. And I'm like, that's not going to do me any good. You need to see me. You need to see what's going on here. And You know what I mean? It's just not, I don't know, for the money we pay to go see a doctor. I want a doctor to see me. Yeah. I guess that's old school, but <laughs> <laughs> that's me. So, but yeah, we're doing um, doing good on the keto. What, what, what's on the keto front for you? Do you have any new recipes you want to try? We got that Southern Cookbook, 
that you were so excited about. Did you see some recipes in there you want to There's try? There's a few in there. Um, I really, and I just bought all the stuff. I want to try that keto granola. You've been saying that for months. I know. I you just know, haven't even, had the opportunity to sit how, down and make it. How many weeks ago was it that you said you were going to do, oh, never mind. I'll, I'll stop. We, there's been a couple that you say, I'm going to do this or that. Why don't you then, do a video? Well, I'm not going to. I don't measure <laughs> stuff. I just throw it in a bowl. So True story. I, there's no measurements for Bill. And then when I do, like when you did your meatballs, and then you said, make me meatballs. So I did. I did it totally different than your recipe. And you said, oh, I love these. I'm like, well, that's nothing like your recipe. My recipe is very different. So It's okay. I don't know. Maybe we need to do a taste test and have like some blind taste testers come in and you make your batch of meatballs, I'll make mine, and we'll see which ones they like better. But you even said, oh my gosh, these are amazing. You don't even need sauce. I'm like, well, yeah. I usually don't eat sauce. I'm not a big tomato Based person. I person. don't, yeah. Mm. yeah. But the other thing you could do with that is put some uh, cheese on it. I say I Italian normally cheese. put either Italian Bacon. cheese or mozzarella cheese, and that's how I eat my meatballs. Bake them in a little ramekin or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if you bake them in the like, like the lasagna pan, I tend to overeat. I'm a puppy. I'm like a puppy, and you put the bowl of food out, and I just see the big old bowl of food, and I, and I eat, eat, eat. If you put it in the ramekin, you put like three or four in there. That's my serving. I know, I know better. I, I do weigh a lot of stuff too when I'm doing chicken or chicken wings, because chicken wings tend to be a lot of bones. Right. What I'll do is I'll actually weigh the plate. I'll put the chicken on it, and then I'll get the weight. And then I'll tear it out, of course. Then after I'm done and I have all the bones, I'll weigh it to minus out how much I actually ate. And I'm usually eating about seven uh, ounces of chicken. Yeah. When I get anywhere from eight to nine of the little wings that we get from Costco. So, you know, I try and keep within limits. I don't want to be eating overly on the protein where I'm jacking up my macros and or possibly having something that converts to sugar. In terms of sugars, my sugars have been all over the place. I've had some days that I'm in the, like the 130 range, and I'm very happy with that as a diabetic with yeah. no medicines. And then I've got other days where I'll hit like a 173, and it's like I ate good, but I had a higher sugar today. It's, it's There's not a lot of reasoning to that. Yeah. I don't understand. No rhyme or reason for sure. I try not to get upset. I just track it because the doctor says, let me know where your sugars are. And my A1Cs have come way down from the nines down to, um, I think my last one was 6.8, I believe. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I'm very happy. Yeah. And I'm not on insulin, not on all the yeah. medicines I was on. So I'm That's very happy. That's the biggest thing. That's the hugest thing. Yep. Now, if I can just get some more of the weight off, I'll be even happier. Yep. Yeah. So we're a work in progress. Aren't we all, though? <laughs> Absolutely. Every day. Yeah. Every day. Well, Stacey's uh, done her morning job, which was Camus Reservations down here on the computer. Yep. And then, then we're going to have lunch, and she's going to head off to Costco for an afternoon. Yeah, evening. we have inventory tonight. So oh, we'll that's right. You're going to be working, working uh, later. 2.30 to 11. Ooh. So, I so again, it's so another, later. you know, it's, it's things like this that really throw my schedule wonky. Um, well, just prepare and have your meals ready and your lunch bag. Made my egg salad. Um, love egg salad. See, I can't stand the smell <laughs> of it. He didn't even like the smell of it. And I like eggs, and I like mayo. It's mayo, eggs, and mustard. Onion. Un mustard. No mustard. Uh, um, onion. onion. I like all three of those things. You put them together in that container, and I have to leave the room. It just, it's, it's so, it smells so horrible to me. I just want to vomit. So there's no way I can put that to my mouth and eat it. I'd and have that, to pinch my nose to do it. <laughs> and that's one of the things that I eat. Often. You just eat that out of the bowl too, don't yeah, you? Yeah, just eat it out of, right out of the bowl. Do you use the keto bread too? No, I just eat it out of the bowl. What is it? Natural oven? Natural, Natural oven. oven. Um, Something no, like that. I just eat it out of the bowl. Stacy's liking that bread from Costco. Yeah, I have to say, I did. I don't eat it a ton, but one of the things that I really missed, I'm a very basic eater, I don't eat a ton of things, was a, I call it a dip and egg. Um, I think they're called sunny side up eggs. Yeah. With the um, yolk. With the yolk, with the toast. Um, I was so that really missing that. that, and that fills that void for me. Um, but when I eat the egg salad, see if I have it on a sandwich, I want to chip with it. And mm. um, so I just eat it. There, there are some keto chips out there. 
we that tried a few of the Quest in. ones. They weren't, to me, they didn't taste good to me. So. And they weren't worth the money for me. It's like I'd rather just not eat them. Yeah, they were expensive for that little bag of air. Like $3 <laughs> for the little yeah. bag. And you know what? I didn't love the taste. Of, if I loved the taste of them, I'd probably you do it every now and again. Down. But yeah. I didn't love the taste of it. So for me, I'd rather just not have it. True. Which is better and for it, me anyway. And I've used that keto bread to make toast. And then put mayo and bacon on a sandwich to make a BL, sort of like a BLT. Yeah. Um, and that was pretty darn good. But I, I just try to steer away from the, because then that changes your macros to a net versus uh, true carb or whatever. Right. So my carbs look like they go up, but then when you take the, it's weird. And I don't like to play that game so much. Right. I, I feel like I'm not cheating, but like not being true to myself if, the way my body takes it or does it's almost like all the fake sugary things like the aspartames and yeah. the diet pops and stuff i always feel like well i could do this maybe as a treat here or there but on every night sit down with dinner and a can of pop diet pop or something yeah probably not the best idea so i know when i'm gonna have the bread um that i eat higher fats like my egg salad and um, that's really good the carb manager really likes egg salad Hmm. So are you tracking again? I don't even know. I don't see you much. No, no, I haven't been tracking. But I just you're just tracking your head. Huh? It's the same things. I, I don't eat a ton of things. It's just not. There have been a few days where it's the same thing that I ate. You know, I wake up and make my special eggs or whatever. <laughs> I'm, you know, I'll, I'll eat kind of the same things. Or if I have the leftover chili from yesterday, and I know I've had you know seven ounces of chili or whatever, right. which is mostly pork and ground beef. Um, and I don't put beans or anything yeah. in that. But, uh, yeah, I, I kind of know, like, ooh, this is what I had on Tuesday. And then I just kind of, it takes maybe a minute and a half to just go click, click, click. And I'm just carrying it over for what I yeah. did have. So, um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. I might spring this year uh, and pay for the one year of Card Manager for, like, 29 bucks. I think, is Do the it. special that comes up. And uh, maybe as a little treat to myself, because it lets you create Your grouped own. meals. Mm. So if I choose these five items that I'm going to put in my breakfast bowl, let's say, I can put Bill's meat breakfast bowl and just click that. And it'll carry in all those ingredients that I've created. Uh -huh. It might take a week or two making these special things. That's but, okay. But it makes it faster when you're trying to enter them as your morning. I don't have to put... One cup of coffee with, you know, this, that, and the other. I could pre-do it all. Because I eat the same thing anyway, most of the time. Right. So. All right. Well, we should probably let people get going. I hope you enjoyed this little break of us just chit-chatting with you and talking a little bit and giving you some encouragement and some input from us as to where we're at. Um, I know that these days, turning the TV on, I, I tend you know what we've been doing a lot? We've been watching a lot of older movies. Like old movies like War Games, yeah. which was a great old 80s movie. <laughs> Iron Eagle, Top Gun, the old yeah. one, you know. Um, all these old movies, The Firm, yep. uh, Few Good Men, all these good old movies. I love you know, A Few Good Men. 16 Candles. We, we watch some really <laughs> weird old movies. But it just kind of takes our mind off of the craziness of everything that's going on out there. Yeah. And uh, it's been fun. Yeah. And we our daughter to, comes in and she's like, what are you watching? Yeah. Well, I've tried to get her... Oh, I was trying to get her into the Karate Kid so that we could watch the Karate Kid series, the originals, and then I could get her into Cobra Kai because now the kids are watching Cobra Kai. But when they watch Cobra Kai, they're not getting all the references of Karate right. Kid, which if they had seen Karate Kids, they'd be like, oh, that's the same place that they Aww, did this. The so, well, yeah, that too. But <laughs> so many little references there are within Cobra Kai, and there's probably even some I've missed, but that are in it that are really fun to kind of like look back and say, oh, yeah, yeah I remember that in the movie. And I don't think the kids are getting that so much. But uh, yeah. it would be cool if they spent an afternoon and just kind of binge, a binge, <laughs> a binge Karate Kid watch. It's, it's kind of fun to see stuff like that come back out yeah. and have a, re, a revamp or uh, an extended look at them now. It's yeah. really fun. Really, really fun. I was watching that on YouTube. Gosh, you know, a long time ago. And then all of a sudden when it came on Netflix, everybody on Facebook is like, oh my gosh, you guys see this. I'm like, yeah, I watched that already a long time ago. But it's nice to see it continue. Yes. Yeah, but hopefully this little break with us uh, makes you smile on a Saturday afternoon. 
And um, yeah, we're, we're trying our best. And I'd say at this point, not going up is a win <laughs> for everybody and everything. Yeah. With so much going on in the world. And um, we're just holding in there. And I'm going to figure out what's going on with me yeah. at some point. I don't know. 2021 is going to be a good year. And, we, and we've got to work on our other channel, too. We've got the Stacy and Bill Adventures, uh, where we're converting our minivan into a little camper. Yes. So springtime, hopefully uh, life gets a little simpler and we get a little two, three-day weekend where we can sneak off to a, a local campground and enjoy yeah. the camper van experience. Um, it's kind of our own little van life yeah. way, but it's, it's just our way of having some fun and getting out. Yeah. Can't afford an RV. I try. I pushed for an RV for a long time, True and story. then tried for a pop up. Don't don't have the room. We just don't have yeah. the room for it. And with our HOA restrictions, can't have a pop up in the driveway. And I'm not paying storage to store a pop up somewhere to use two times a year or three times a year. Right. So our compromise is turning our minivan, pulling everything out, putting the seats down, putting some stuff in it, and calling that a little camper for a two three day trip. Absolutely. Yeah. And it'll be fun. So that channel I'll link above too. So you guys can see it if you want to go check it out. We've already made some window covers. Mm -hmm. And then the other one we did was a, a camp box kitchen. The Chuck Box. Chuck Box Camp, camp Kitchen. Camp Kitchen. Yeah. And that's uh, just kind of an all-in-one solution of having everything we I need to cook. I think it's amazing. It holds so much stuff. Yeah. It's and like a it's, clown car. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah. She just kept pulling things out, pulling things out. So, and that's kind of ready to go. It's sitting in the garage now. So if we were to go camping, I pick it up, I put it in the car, we put some food in the cooler, and we are gone. We're in Michigan, and I booked two permits today. I'm like, you're camping. What are you camping with? Like a tent? I'm like, oh, tent. it's so cold. You're it's gonna... like 30 degrees out. <laughs> I'm like layered. I have like four layers on, and I'm still chilly. And this... I... he's camping in a tent. Hmm. And the snow. That's great. Up north in Ludington. That's crazy. To well, me. that's kind of like the people that do the ice fishing. Oh, my gosh. Nothing against them, but the last thing I want to do is go sit outside and freeze. Nope, nope. No, no. I'll probably fall through the ice anyway. I'm a big fat butter. <laughs> it's not my, It's not something you do as a big fat man. You don't go <laughs> sit on ice. <laughs> you know, remember that game, Don't Break the Ice? <laughs> the thing. That, that's what I would be like, don't break the ice. Oh, I'd be falling. Oh, well. You never know what's going to come out of his mouth. I don't even know what's going on. <laughs> 20 seconds ago, I didn't know I was going to be talking about Don't Break the Ice, is. right? So it is what it is. Well, hey, thanks again for hanging out with us. And let's do us jabber if you're here at this point still. And um, I hope everybody's doing well. And not only on your keto journey, just mentally and physically doing well and staying healthy and safe and yeah. happy. Trying to be as positive and focused mind as possible. Absolutely. I've been really finding the minimalist stuff on YouTube has been very, very helpful for me. I've been organizing and donating and selling and tossing. I mean, I've I filled two 30-gallon bags. I'm a little embarrassed to say that, but also happy because it's progress. Yeah. Now, a couple weeks back ago, Stacy said, I'm going to get in my closet and I'm going to start getting rid of those clothes. So I'm going to call her out on this this week and say one night we need to spend about 20 minutes and just go in a closet and take a few things out. It doesn't have to be an overhaul of the closet. Take a few things out. Five, yeah. six things. Put them in the bag. If they're nice, I'll go donate them. Yeah. You know, a lot of the things we have too are worn. You know, they have holes in them. But they're just comfies. You know, keep a few comfies. But let go of some of the really large, older, 20-year-old <laughs> comfies. You know. I got my journey shirt when we did the journey fest. 1999. 1999. It's dated. The shirt's dated. It is. I was like, oh, gosh. And it's so threadborn, you could literally see through it. But it's my favorite sleep shirt. <laughs> and there's nothing wrong with that. Keep that shirt. It's got some great memories, too. Yeah. But you also have a ton of shirts and things that don't have those memories that are as old, that are threadborn and worn, and probably could be let go. Or cut into a rag to use for wiping down stuff go. or something. You know, be purposeful with it. Absolutely. If possible. I could use some rags in the garage. Give me a stack. Okay. Just get the scissors out and have fun with it. We'll do it. Yeah. I'll but we're going to, so next week we're going to, we're going to actually take a picture of what we we're able to get rid of. Because a lot of it's really big stuff too yeah. that we just don't wear anymore. I don't, I don't wear a 6X shirt anymore. I wear a 3. 
So I've, I'm guilty too. We yeah. both need to. So let's do that. Let's commit to next week getting a little bit more out of the closets. Okay. And we must have nine pieces of luggage. We don't need nine pieces of luggage. Some of that luggage is so dang heavy now. And so right, because you have fifty pound weight limit, and the dang bag weighs like twenty three. Yeah, yeah. twenty three pounds. Yeah, we have this little thing where you pick up the bag, and it's like this is twenty three pounds just for the bag, and we'll never use that because we always use the smaller carry on stuff. Right. Yeah, we need to start letting go of some things. We'll take that to like a um, shelter. Oh um, yeah, yeah, maybe. Some, well, you know what. You just got to look them up and And you find feel out. bad because, you know, when you have kids, especially in the foster care, and we oh, have yeah, a couple friends in, that, in and, that are foster parents, and their kids come to them with their stuff in a garbage bag, and it's so sad. So give them a suitcase. Yeah. You know, it's heavier, but it's, you know, it's a suitcase. suitcase. It's their suitcase for their belongings. And, I like that idea. Find yeah. somewhere local here that does that. Yeah, we That will. they would work with. But, yeah, I mean, we've got uh, under the stairs closet area. And it is stuffed with a bunch of old luggage. And then when my mom passed, I got all my mom's luggage too, you know, mm -hmm. and there's one or two pieces that we do use because yeah. like my daughter likes my mom's one piece of luggage. And, uh, you know, it's got busted zippers and everything, but that one means something. I get it. Right. But, uh, you know, we can, we can start letting go of some things, I think, and just make life simpler. All You're right. We right. will. So for the fifth time, I'll say, hey, thanks for hanging out with us. And uh, we are going to get going because this is probably 30 minutes by now. Yeah. And we're going to eat lunch and hang out a little bit. And then I go to work. And then Stacey's going to have to do a little inventory today. Yeah. A little different day. Yeah. Hopefully the day goes quick for you. I hope so. Yeah. It'll be fun. So have a good one and stick with what you're doing and trust the process. Just reach out if you need anything or have a question for us. I get a lot of emails. And some of them are not so nice. And some of them are just fantastic. There are weeks that I just feel like, why are we doing this and I shouldn't do this? And then an email will come through that just makes me smile and say, oh, Stacey, you got to read this. Yeah. You know, so I guess there's just a little bit of everything out there. And, you know. We're not for everyone. And that's okay. It's okay. We're just here for our own journey, too. Because we reflect back on some of our older videos. We'll watch a video from a year and a half ago and say, oh, my gosh. What a difference, just even in our physical appearance. Yeah. Or where face. we were, where we were in our headspace as to what we were doing at the time. Yeah. You know, that kind of thing. So I'm just looking forward to some more future achievements in 2021. That's, that's the goal. That's the goal. We'll get there. All right. Thanks for hanging out, guys. Bye. Bye.